What's up, guys? We're back with another how-to. We had a recent question come across the board, and the person asked, what do you do when the crappie don't want to bite? That's a very, very good question. I can share with you some of the tactics that I would use, and uh, if Bryce Roney wants to chime in here, you're welcome to do so as well. I have a couple tactics, but okay. this is a subject that you'd probably be a lot more knowledgeable on than me because right. I'm I'm primarily a bass guy. However... Since I've been going fishing with you for the past few years, I have learned quite a bit about crappie. Well, thank so. you, sir. Well, thank you. I'm learning myself, my friend. Uh, here's a couple things that I would do. One, um, you know, sometimes the crappie are still biting, and you might not just be able to see the bite. So maybe the bite is really, really lethargic. It's really light, and you can't indicate it. Um, maybe you're casting, and you're not using a float of any kind, and you're trying to Real it kind of real slow to figure the speed out, that ideal speed, the ideal retrieve to finesse them in, and they're just you're not feeling the bite. Well, I would say step number one is maybe they're biting it, but they're biting it really light. So maybe you should go with like a um a light, super light float like this that Bryce is gonna show you. There you go. These are new floats that we actually have coming down the pipes as of right now, um, December 16th. 2022 we do not currently have them in stock on the website but these will be coming down now this is a super finesse float uh, we're going to have these available eventually in um in uh orange color and then also like a real chartreuse type color and that light float what it's going to do for you is maybe those fish are still biting like i said earlier but you're not able to see it well with this size float being so so small almost like a trout style you're going to have the ability to identify and kind of put a visual indicator on those small, like really finessey bites. So that would kind of be my first step. I think, um, any, I think the first thing that I would probably do is go as small as I possibly can. If yeah. I, if, if I'm not getting bit, I'm going to bite down the bait that I'm using, or I'm going to, I'm going to find a smaller bait in my tackle box, or I'm going to, Pair that with a smaller jig head, kind of like these uh these these four mil ice jigs. Wait, these are four mil, right? Yep, they're yeah. four mil. Yeah, the four mil um ice jigs. Yeah. yeah, that actually led into my next point. Like, yeah, it, exactly. So maybe maybe that big profile is just not cutting it. Maybe they're just not in a day where they're just wanting to eat that big. Go small profile, like Bryce said. These tungsten jigs are not just for ice. We have them branded for ice but they're not just intended for ice. You can use these things all year round. Um, and I actually, I, I do. I use a lot of this formula yeah, almost all actually, year round. Actually, um, recently, Rick was uh, biting down the flukes right. and using those. Right. And uh, that was proven to be uh, a really good producer. Right. Yeah, and, and good point, dude. Like the, the actual flukes um, style are two-inch style bait. I can it, grab one. Okay. It starts as a uh, two-inch style, and there's different break-off points. So you can actually tear off all the way down to about a three-quarter of an inch. So you can get real subtle. So it's it's actually a really good... Um, it might um, actually be less than three-quarter of an inch. Yeah, dude, it's, it's a really good bait for trying to identify what size they really want. Start with the two-inch and go over to, uh, you know, just pinch one of the sections off, twist it off, and, uh, and dude, you can get... You can get some like a, a smaller profile bait out of the same exact bait. So if you guys look at it, it's got those ribbed those ribbed sections there. You can kind of see it. This one here, he pulled out of our seconds bin, so it has a little yeah. flake in there. But yeah. hey, at least you get. I the just idea. grabbed one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just so you had an, a bit of visual indicator. But yeah, dude, good, good, good point. Um, also, what about color? I mean, sometimes they just don't want the color. Yeah, there's been times where I'm literally fishing right next to you using a different color, same bait, yeah, just a different color, and uh, they they don't want it. And then I switch over to a color that's either the same that you're throwing or very very similar, and they're smashing it. Right. I've noticed too. You I don't match know. the hatch kind of. Sort I mean, of. you guys have. I don't know if you have ever experienced this, but when when working like a specific bait, let's just say chartreuse for an example, we're on a brush pile, we're hammering the chartreuse, all, the bite on the chartreuse is fire. And then all of a sudden, nothing. They just quit on us. 
They're like, getting hip to what you're throwing. That's exactly what I think is going on. They like become acclimated to the color. Yeah, they're like, oh, I just watched 18 of my buddies eat that and go flying up in right. the air. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or we just saw the same minnow fly fly by. What in the world? It yeah. just keeps coming <laughs> coming by. I just watched like eight of my buddies get taken. So like, you're probably not going to eat that. What are some co like contrasting colors um, that you've had well, some experience with? Well, if you guys uh, if you guys go check out our previous video, I'm sure. It'll be up before this one. Um, it'll kind of give you an idea of how to choose a color. Nice. So go check that that video out. Uh, we'll link it in the description for you guys. And um, so basically just kind of a crash course. Um, if, if your water is stained or muddy, you're going to want darker colors. It's going to help you contrast or you're going to want to throw white if you're in a shad fishery. Right. And then if you're in clearer water, you're going to want clearer or colors and more um more brighter colors or not brighter colors like kind of uh blingy more, yeah blingy more translucent something that, that the sun can sheen off of and those fish can track it from a long distance agreed um also if you're in dirty water um something that's got a lot of, of sound and um displaces a lot of water like a paddle tail that'll help as well uh we also have um rattles that Rick has in his hand. That's my last point. Actually, it leads us to our next point. Perfect segue, by the way, Bryce. Yeah, yeah. Sound, sound yeah. also helps. So you can um, you can tick the rocks, or you can put one of these. In uh, these are little glass, like little little glass. That's a, that's a mouthful. Here, I don't little, know if you guys can hear that. There you go. Yep, little glass uh, rattles that you can literally put, and you, it has like a sharp point on one end, sharp enough to it's not going to hurt you or anything, but sharp enough to where you could poke it in a bait. And then um, kind of a blunt end on the other side. And you could stick this in any, really any two-inch style or bigger bait. It doesn't even have to be a two-inch. You can stick it in yeah. anything that fits in. That's real. it, yeah. Anything. And now, you know, you have a, a kind of an audio uh, activating, you know, yeah. little piece to your bait presentation. You that, can even. That little tick might just be yeah. enough to kind of get them excited. You can even take your jig head and just let it fall and slam those rocks. Too. Right. We've done that before and it worked. Yeah. Matter of fact, tungsten. Um, and this will be yeah. our last point. It has a different pitch than lead does. Like tungsten's like a higher pitch clack yeah. than lead is. So many times, or we did this test also in a pool um, at, at my parents' old house. They had a pool. And so we'd jump in and, you know, remember when you were kids, you're at one side of the pool and the other side, you know, yeah. and then you try to talk. And you can hear it, but it's yeah. like, well, kind of likewise, the... Um, the lead, you just take like a big old lead sinker and let it drop off the bottom of the pool. It's kind of like a thud, yeah. like a yeah. Like a or thud. or if you've ever been in the water, I don't know if anyone else has done this, but I know I've done this. I take two rocks and clack them together underwater. Yeah, it it literally makes a clacking sound, and that's kind of the same thing that a jig's going to do when it hits a rock. Cause right, it, it's two hard materials clacking together. It has to make some kind of sound. But that lead that hits the bottom, it's almost like a thud, like a flat yeah. noise. Where versus like tungsten, if you use tungsten, the it's more sharp. Yeah, it's like yeah, ting, ting, it's a ting. sharp. It's a brighter sound. So um, if you guys tip. are musicians, you'll understand what I know when I say brighter. You will understand what I'm trying to say. So there's a little couple tips for y'all's. Um, One more thing, actually. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, hit it. Um, crappie kibs, we have them. Ooh, get what you a good some. idea, dude. Those um, add scent to your 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 bait. They uh, good call, Bryce. They give added color. Yep, it's just a little more of an enticing way to get him to eat. It's that extra piece of bacon. Yeah, on it's a almost like potatoes. adding a minnow to your yeah. jig head. You know, it's almost like adding a minnow. Yep. Only it's not alive. Dude, nailed it. Yeah, and we got those available in all kinds of colors too. So depending on what shade of water or, or uh, clarity you're working with, you can um, check those out on the site as well. You guys can also get a discount if you guys use code FBTV10 on the uh, website as long as it's not the product is not on sale you can use a discount code there you go thanks for sharing the discount saving them some monies guys thanks so much for hanging with us for another short how-to session we appreciate you have a wonderful day Deuce. later